So you know. Yeah. How long have you known? Not very. How'd you figure it out? It was outside Xander's room when your purse spilled. Prenatal vitamins. Yeah. 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 See, I was... the nurse picked it up and mm. I stepped it back in your purse. Yeah, I was worried you'd see those. I can see why. I'm actually kind of relieved now. I haven't told anybody. And I won't. Thank you. Sonny's baby, right? Okay, so what about Alexis? Did you check the docs? All right, just find out if she left town. We found her car broken down. Is it a wreck? No, no, no. It just overheated. It's out by Brenda's old cottage on Birch Tree Lane. I'll go check it out. No, no, no. I'll go. What's what's up? Alexis and I got close. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe too close. But you already knew that. Yeah. Something's bothering her, and she won't let me in close enough to help. I gotta go. Ch I gotta go check. Okay. It. Yeah. Go. Um. I won't be long. Carly's on her way for dinner. Can you stay until she gets back? Sure. All right. Hey. Whoa. Um, how good, you doing? Hey, good. You're not talking to huh, me. No, no. I you? just, uh, the way you look in that dress, it never happened. But I, I got some business I got to take care of. Well, it's going to take you all night? No, no. I'll be back uh, in time for dinner. Okay. I'll be waiting. All right. Mm. Don't, don't, don't go anywhere, okay? Oh. No. All right. Don't worry. <laughs> Too late for that. It's obviously Sonny's baby. Me, of all people. <sighs> we all have our moments. You don't have to be so understanding. <sighs> what was I thinking? Oh. Mm. Sonny doesn't usually bring out the best in women. It takes two. Still raining? I think so. Are you okay? I'm actually getting warm now. Good. Did you hear that? No. No, but I'll check. I don't see anything. Are you sure? <laughs> no, it's probably just the rain or branch falling or something. I'm sure you're right. Have you told Sonny you're pregnant? No, I haven't. And Sonny is never going to know that this baby is his. Where's Carly? Kitchen. How'd you let that happen? Can you microwave shrimp? Yeah, if you if you want to ruin the texture and the taste, you, you can. Then you shouldn't microwave it four or five times, right? Is, is that what she's doing? She said something about hors d'oeuvres okay. for you. I gotta get in there. This is... Wait a minute, wait, wait. What? How, what's Alexis okay? Yeah, yeah. She's uh, back with uh, Ned. Is, is that good? I called Christina and... Uh, Tow truck. Then everything worked out. Yeah, yeah, for once. Good. Good luck with dinner. So you're not gonna stay and have some shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no thanks. Right. Later. 
At first, I thought it was the right thing to do. I've changed my mind. No, I'm definitely not telling Sonny. Okay. You would have gotten a big kick out of me in the pharmacy trying to buy the uh, pregnancy kit. I was acting as if I were buying illegal drugs. And of course, I, I've been in that pharmacy a thousand times, and I never run into anyone I know. And this time, I run into Bobby, then I run into Scott, and... <sighs> when I got home, I stared at that pregnancy kit for hours, knowing that the result could possibly change my life forever. Have you seen a doctor yet? I'm seeing Dr. Meadows. She talked about alternatives. And? I'm having the baby. I want it. So what about Sonny? I tenaciously held on to a belief that he was a more honorable man than he actually is. He lives a dangerous life and suffers for it, and so do the people around him. And then Carly came back, and then I saw Xander, and then you can say I told you so at any time. Why would I do that? Because you have every right to, because you've been right all along. The world that Sonny chooses to live in is a world that I don't want a child of mine anywhere near. He inflicts pain on the people he claims to care about. Sonny's never going to know that this baby is his. If you think I'm going to change my mind, I'm not. It won't happen. I believe you. Can you imagine how obsessed he would get? I saw what he put Carly through. Uh, he tried to control everything. Every bite of food she ate, uh, how many hours she slept. He practically took her out of the quarter main house, dragging her by her hair. Oh, I know. And he forced her to move in. He, he, he'll probably try to get me to stop working. Now, that would be interesting just to see him try to do that. Do you think he'd ask me to marry him? That would be funny. If you want to raise this child alone, Alexis, Sonny could never know that he's the father. You and I both know that Sonny simply takes what he wants. And we also know what happens to the women who are intimately involved with him. Disaster. Brenda, Lily, who was pregnant at the time of her death, you were already caught in one shootout. I'm glad you're on my side. But bringing up a child without a father, it isn't easy on anyone, including the father. You're talking about Brooklyn? I see her whenever I can, but it's not the same. She's growing up so fast. And I will always wonder if I was right to let Lois take her. You didn't really have much choice. Oh, I had a choice. I, I, I mean, I could have moved to Brooklyn. I, I could have insisted that she stay here in Port Charles. I, I could have dragged that whole family to the court for years. It would have just hurt Brooklyn. <sighs> but maybe she's hurt anyway. What if growing up away from me, you know, is, is worse than growing up as a quarter me? And, and these years I'm missing, I mean, I'll never get them back. And Brooklyn will never know what it's like to live with her father in a house, 
every day, every night. And neither will your child, Alexis. And that's what you're going to take away. I know. Is that what you really want? books say that's normal. I wonder if I was a surprise to her. I never thought about that. I wonder if she never told Mikos if she'd be alive today. You might not ever know that you were a Cassidy. That would be such a terrible thing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe not. Sonny will have other children. Carly has her way. The penthouse would be filled with little Corinthoses. And very soon. You know, this is a really bad time right now. I need to see you tomorrow. Why? I'd rather not discuss this on the phone. Okay, then why did you call me? You can't get pregnant. Mrs. Corinthos. No, that, 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 that's, that's impossible. Come in tomorrow. And there's got to be something that we can do. There, there has to be a way to... Mrs. Corinthos, are you there? Mrs. Corinthos, are you all right?